Hi guys, this is Sean from the Pompey Games Room, back with a similar video to that I uploaded last. Um, today we're going to go through some of the games we've been playing this month and uh, also give you guys some news on what I'm going to be doing with the channel in the new year. Um, I'm probably not going to get around to a Christmas video now, it's a bit too late, so um, this could possibly be the last upload that I make this year. So, uh, so let's crack on with it with the games I've been playing this month and also some pickups. Um, so, uh, I think it's probably best to start off with the games that I've actually um, been playing most of this month. Uh, so the first of the games I've been playing so far is South Park. Now this game, it was really really ridiculed um, when it came out, it didn't really get the best of reviews. But um, if you're a fan of the TV series, which I've really become a fan of in the past few years, then I don't think the gameplay would really bother you that much, mainly because it's it's not neat and tidy, it's not what you expect a South Park game to be, it's not all beautifully drawn and beautifully rendered and stuff, it's, it's basically just like a TV show. Now, um, you know, it wasn't the best received game um, on any of the uh, um, platforms that it came out on, but I've got to I really enjoy this game. I never played it much when it first came out, but um, I picked it up, I think, for £2 on eBay. And uh, yeah, I gave it a shot, and um, I've got to admit, I've, I've played about four or five hours on it, and I really enjoy it. It's, it's quite challenging. Um, so if you're into games where it's, um, I, how would, sorry, I'll probably start off with a description of it. It's um, basically it's uh, very similar to a Mario 64, where you've got free roam of the, the world basically within parameters. You know, you can't run off into the woods or something. You know, it's uh, basically uh, you're on the rails going through levels and stuff. But um, you can uh, you can do so many things going through. You kill enemies by throwing snowballs at them. Um, you can flick through characters, and you can pretty much use all the characters in the South Park show. Um, and it's uh, yeah, I mean, there's yellow snowballs in here as well. We all know don't eat the yellow snowballs. Um, but uh, yeah, very good game. Very much recommended. Um, now the next game from playing on is something I never thought would actually say, but. Um, I've actually been uh, drawn into the iPhone uh, app gaming thing and uh, I've actually been playing Angry Bird. Now, I never ever thought I'd say this about an iPhone game, but I am addicted. Seriously, I cannot get enough of that game. Um, I don't actually have an iPhone on Blackberry user at the moment, but I'm hoping to switch to an iPhone in the coming, coming weeks, I'd say. Um, and I've been stealing my girlfriend's phone all the time. We started off with a free app on it, you know, you get the, uh, the free um, application that then basically tries to draw you into purchasing the 69p version and it did that I mean what a game I really really enjoyed it and I'm still playing it now um, although we purchased the full version and I've got to admit there was just hundreds of levels on that and um, I never ever thought I'd be drawn into the iPhone and uh, the gaming side of it it's just brilliant to be able to pull that out of your pocket and just be able to play on that during the day or something just be brilliant I mean I can understand the thing with like Sonic and Streets of Rage that you can get on there and things like that, um, which to be fair I've played and I really enjoy, I've got them on my iPod, um, I really love those games and uh, I love them on that platform so uh, I never ever thought I'd say it, but Angry Bird, very challenging, it looks so simple but it is so difficult and um, it will be one of the first things going on my iPod when I hopefully get it probably just after Christmas, so um, yeah, it's a uh, there's nothing more satisfying than throwing birds making sounds at wooden concrete structures trying to make them fall down in my opinion now. Uh, brilliant game, absolutely love it. Um, so let's move on to the pickups I've made this month. Uh, first of all, the pickups I made is for the Mega Drive in Virtual Racing. Now this game, I played it a lot as a kid, um, but it was rented. We never bought it um, and I uh, now have it so without the manual, uh, which isn't a big problem to be honest, it's just a standard racing game. Um, one button makes you go forward, the other one's break, and um, yeah, I mean, for the time, cutting edge graphics, but um, <laughs> hasn't aged very well. Uh, I'm, uh, I've struggled to get back into it, if I'm being honest with you. And it was one of those games I probably just bought nostalgic reasons only. But uh, it's 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 okay. I mean, it's it's okay. I've got to admit, I enjoy uh, Super Monaco GP more. Um, but no, very good game. Cost me two pounds, which. Possibly looking at eBay, possibly a bit too much without the manual. But to be fair, I got it framed with other games that I've um, I've got in my pickups here, so it, you know postage was minimal really. 
and you would expect to pay something like three pounds for this game, I'm sure, anywhere else. But um, no, worth a pick up, but in my view, hasn't really stood up uh, to the test of time for such a landmark game in the Sega um, gaming history. Uh, Next game that I bought was, um, I've been after this for a little while and uh, I was extremely annoyed when I first got it because um, it was not as stated on the eBay listing and that is Streets of Rage 3. Now this game is absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm struggling to get into it as much as Streets of Rage 2. Now Streets of Rage 2 is possibly up there with one of my favourite games of all time along with Sonic. Um, this game it's got it's basically just rehashed bosses um, from Streets of Rage 2, and there's also a kangaroo boss, not even a boss, um, where you've got to, you know, sort of beat up this kangaroo with boxing gloves on and, and take on another guy sort of who looks like a rehashed character from the older games. Um, but uh, it's not a bad game, but it's not worth the money it goes for on eBay. And if you see people selling this for sort of 70, you know, 70 pound plus, do not even bother. It is just not worth that. It is not rare. The fact it's always on eBay sort of says that it's not rare. Um, it's you know, it's not worth seventy pounds. Now you can expect to pay. I'd say I got a really good deal on this, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's fully boxed. I ended up paying thirty-one pound for it in an auction, which I was pretty happy with. Not bad, but you'll notice that the manual is a bit well tattered, bad way. What happens is I'll upload a picture of what I'm talking about. This. Um, I bought this and the guy said it was in very good condition, brilliant condition, but he failed to say that the manual was covered in brown parcel tape, and I mean covered, just look at the picture, um, and I actually managed to get it off the manual without much damage, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now as I said the game cost me £31, so I was a bit miffed at paying £31 for something that you know wasn't as stated because there was other ones on there that I was going to bid on. Um, at a similar amount and I chose this one um, and uh, the guy refunded me nearly I think, nine pounds in the end so this game has ended up costing me 22 pounds which I'm really happy about because I mean you can pick manuals up wherever and I'm not really that fast about manuals I'm not gonna make a big big thing of it um, the game in my view is it's pretty good and I'm it's not as fun as the other games the other Streets of Rage games and um, my favorite is Streets of Rage 2 um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good game and it's a good addition to the series. But um, I think if I played Streets of Rage three before I played Streets of Rage two, I probably wouldn't have gotten into the series the way I did. Um, uh, there's a new character in there, Zen or Zan, I think something like that. Um, I've used him. Uh, yeah, pretty good all-round character. Axel isn't as powerful as he used to be in the old ones, but um, yeah, it's good because I've used a few of the other characters and stuff, and I'm I'm really enjoying that game at the moment. I've played it for a little while. Um, but like I said, not as much as Streets of Rage 2, but definitely worth a pick up for Streets of Rage fans. And please, I mean, please buy this in auctions. Do not pay ridiculous over the odds. Buy it now. So, I mean, you can you can select buy it now up to forty pounds for this game, and you can expect that. That's fair enough. But um, man, I mean, seventy pound doesn't warrant this game at all. You know, just looking at eBay now, there are seventy pound versions of this game, seventy, ninety pound versions, and uh, they're all from the bin sellers. So please avoid those if you can. Um, and uh, other pickups, uh, last pickup this month really is South Park Rally, sticking with the South Park theme. Um, I actually loved this game when I was younger, and I've got to admit it's up there still with Mario Kart for me. Um, I absolutely love this game. It's uh, fully boxed, uh, comes with a box as well, uh, with the advert for Chef's Love Shack on the back. Um, never played that, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's as um, in your face as most of the South Park games. Um, Brilliant game. Uh, great characters in here. Great level design. Um, pretty. It some levels are a bit jerky um, when you're driving around. Uh, the power-ups are a bit obscene. Some of them, um, but the characters. I mean, Terence and Philip. Say no more. Be able to use Terence and Philip as characters in this game. They've all got their own little catchphrases and their own little sayings. So it's all, it's all good fun. Um, brilliant game. Ended up costing. Me, ignore that. It wasn't brief for five pounds. I got it from Cash Converters for a pound. Um, so. I couldn't believe it when I got this game for a pound. It's absolutely brilliant. I remember getting this on the day that it came out on the PlayStation, and um, I think I paid you know top top rate for it back in the day when I when I pre-ordered it. I was working at orders at the time in Portsmouth, and uh, yeah, um, I remember going to get it on my lunch break, and I was so eager to get home to play this game. So no, brilliant, brilliant game. Um, 
and I was really happy to pick that up because I've been playing South Park on the N64 earlier in the month and that was good. So um, anyway, now guys, um, yeah, we're getting to the uh, updates on my channel. Uh, like I said, I'm deciding not to do a Christmas video this year. It's just um, I've left it far too late with Christmas shopping and I've been working so hard recently. Um, I run a uh, small football league as well, so that takes up a lot of my time. And um, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm lucky I found time to actually make this video. So, um, but yeah, to be able to sit down and, and things like that, it's, it's been good to actually sort of you know get some more pickups on. Um, I'm thinking of doing these videos a bit more. Often. I'm really enjoying doing them, just going through quick, quick chat about games and stuff. Um, uh, things I have in the pipeline. Well, I was hoping to upload a Starwing review um, this year, but I'll probably wait for next year now uh, to upload that. It's about 85% done at the moment. I've just got to add some bits and bobs into the video. Uh, I've actually said all that. You know, I've made my speech over the whole video and stuff. I'm happy with that. Um, I've just basically got to tweak the video now and just uh, set it up, and I'll probably upload that in January sometime. Um, I'm also going to probably going to be doing the Loud Out Wars uh, video as well because they're both connected. I played them a lot in November, so um, yeah. Um, uh, for the new year, I've got some. I've got a Sega Mega Jet review that I'm hoping to do, um, and uh, I've had that now for about a year, and I've never found time to put a review up for it. I'm actually going to be uploading some handheld and other accessory reviews uh, very soon, um, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, anyway, guys, if I if I can't find time to put another video up for Christmas, I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Um, I know we're probably all finishing work within the next week and a half. Um, so merry Christmas and a happy New Year. And if I don't see you again, thanks for watching.